The Blue Cat Fire destroyed 105 homes and burned more than 37,000 acres. Thousands of residents who were under evacuation orders were finally allowed to return home yesterday, and some are returning to devastation. And that's why the Enland Empire United Way and other community partners have established the Blue Cut Fire Relief Fund. Community Foundation kickstarted the fund with $100,000, and now they're hoping that you can help out too. Joining us is Gregory Bradbard, a president and CEO of the Inland Empire United Way. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. What kinds of challenges are residents dealing with as they return home? Yeah, you know, what I mean? and many of those residents are just returning home today and yeah. what they're finding. Um, some of them are finding that fortunately their homes are still standing, but they have smoke damage there. Um, many of them, all of their food, of course, is gone. Um, many of them have lost vehicles. Um, I was talking with a family who had lost um, many of their animals and uh, livestock wow. there. Um, and those are the ones that quite honestly maybe got lucky. There are about um, 100 families who are returning home finding that their home has been completely destroyed. So awful. Um, and some of them we know um, don't necessarily have uh, homeowner's insurance mm. um, and uh, are low income most definitely and are going to have a really tough time uh, figuring out what's next. How many people do you think are in need of assistance? Any guesstimates? Yeah, that's a really good question. I mean, I can tell you from a, you know, those that have completely lost their homes, at least 100, um, mm. and probably more than that. Um, and there have been, there were actually 80,000 who were evacuated. So you can imagine somewhere between yeah. that 180,000. So I imagine at least thousands who have been impacted um, in, a, in a very real way. Yeah. I'm told 100% of the donations will go to these folks, these residents. That's absolutely correct. So we're going to work with, you know, United Way has a whole network of strong local nonprofits that are already already on the ground mm -hmm. and well positioned to meet the needs, whether that's counseling that they need, if it's uh, temporary housing, if it's food, if it's, uh, you know, whatever they might need really in rebuilding their lives. 100% um, of donations will go back and no administrative fees will be deducted from anything that's donated. That's great. So I understand you're doing short-term care and long-term care needs, but how do people apply and how does that work? How do they get, how do they get the funds? Yeah, so right now we're actually building a committee of local stakeholders and other nonprofits, um, our government agencies as well. And we're working with the faith-based community as well and they're going to be helping us to really identify where the greatest needs are um, both short and long term mm. so I mean just as I was heading here um, I was in, informed that there were five families um, in particular that mm -hmm. um, didn't know where they were necessarily going to be tonight so wow. helping to answer those questions yeah. and like I said longer term really helping them figure out how to rebuild their lives sure. um, over the next year. Sure. So the big question right now though is how can people donate? Absolutely. So the two easy ways one um, you can send a text um, to uh, 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 I'm blanking. We'll find out. <laughs> Tell us. We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll look it up and right now. And the website I can tell you it. is yeah. ieuworg slash help. Okay. You text relief. Um, to 40403 and ah, it came to me. So there okay, 40403 <laughs> relief. Yes. Okay. Good to know. Thank Easy you. enough to Absolutely. do that. Thanks, Gregory. Thanks, Thanks so for much. being here. All right. And good luck it. on the effort. Yes. Yeah. And to find out more how you can help, just go to the community page at abc7.com slash community for a link to the Inland Empire United Way. Where am I going to look? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got it. All right. Well, today, growing concern following the rising cost of a life.